Okay, so I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create assets out of um, for the videos that we make. So first off, we'll be looking at our notepad right here. Um, these are the assets that I have finished and these are the assets that we still have to do. So let's look for one that might be a little bit harder to do and some and uh i'll try to finish i'll try to do that one so let's see i do know that we have stuff like computer and airplanes so that one so those i don't think i can do i think i've done cars and there's one that's technology now we can put something like uh make like a computer or something that we've already done but for technology i want to actually make a robot and so that's what we're going to be doing right now so we are going to go on illustrator and we are going to be creating a new uh by clicking create new the size of it that i always use is 1920 by 1080 because I want to make sure no matter what that it would at least fit the the screen that we're going to be using for YouTube right so that's what we're gonna get then I'll show you how to resize it so there's gonna be three I'm trying to think about uh, three main things we want to be using we're gonna be using the pen tool we're gonna be using the shape tools and then we're going to be using the shape builder tool. Those are going to be the three main things that we use for most of most of the assets that we make. And then we will also at the very end use the artboard tool so we can get the like perfect dimensions and create the perfect box around the asset. So the first thing that we want to do is get some inspiration on how to do a robot because a lot of people might want to um create a robot or might think they know how a robot looks but then they don't so we're gonna go here on chrome and then we're just gonna look for like robot uh, clip art or png just so we can see more or less what we're thinking of and we will take inspiration from one of them but not just trace it right and i'm liking this guy uh he kind of looks like a little sensor kind of has this right there's other ones that you might like it all depends up to you, but I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more. So from what I'm seeing, this one's the one that I kind of like the best. Um, and I don't really see another one. I, I kind of like this one too because he's floating. And I think because he has a little bit more details, maybe we we might want to use them. Um, I'm thinking at the very end... We should I'll just use this guy for now right so we're going to copy the image and then in Illustrator we just paste and he may seem very very small that's okay when he comes in here you automatically get to transform him right you can make him really squished but by holding down the shift and then dragging one of the edges no matter what you do, it gets scaled proportionally, right? By holding down shift, you do the proportional switch. By holding down the alt, instead of you choosing like the lower right or wh whatever corner to, um, to scale it from, it scales from the middle, right? So by holding both down, it not only scales proportionally, but scales with the uh, anchor point being the middle. So I'm scaling it to be about the same size as the frame, just so we can get as much as possible. Then we're going to be using the, the tools, right? So for this example, we have to break it up into its basic components, right? So we see here, there's a square, there's like a little like square circle thing. He's got the eyeballs. He's got the little like cable like uh, uh, limbs and then he's got little triangles in his feet and little like uh, wrench looking arms and some buttons so we'll see which what we kind of like from this 
we will go here into the rectangle tool so so this lets us do rectangles right or we can just click M so let's say that we're we're building like a shape but uh, we don't really want the shape or something like that and then we want to move quickly into the into the shape tool uh, the rectangle shape tool we just click M and it brings it right up right so we want to get an approximate look of how the rectangle is going to look and right here on the left side the this like bar I don't I can't uh, scale it but um, it has like the little color here the fill and then we just double click on it and then we put our pink and that should be good now this is a rectangle but the guy who had like a had like a rectangle like a trapezoid look if you go again it's a trapezoid look and the way that we do that is by going on this uh, direct selection tool or by clicking on uh, the, the selection tool the normal one by clicking V and then holding the control it allows us to click on certain anchor points so if I click it then I can just move this one and you see what's going on by holding down uh, by just uh, clicking the direction you want it to go it moves it uh, into that direction obviously with the arrow keys or holding down shift moves it by 10 pixels so let's say that we want it somewhere around there but then we hold control and we click on the next anchor point which is the uh, upper right hand one and then we move this one right and the other thing is by clicking on the direct selection tool or the A you can click on these little circles inside of the shape and what they do is they help round it so now that they're all selected you just click on one of them and you drag inside of the shape to create it could go up to a circle but we just want to give it a roundedness to the shape so bam right you can also independently shape them so let's say we only want this one to be circular you see that we can do whatever we want to it or we could also uh, shape uh, two at a time we could even do opposing ones right oops I held on to all three this one and this one so as you can see you can shape two at the same time, three which are ones. Um, the way that you select multiple is when you have this shape tool, this selection tool. Um, you click on the ones you want and then holding down shift, you click on the other ones. Uh, so let's say that we have this done, right? Now we want to get his face. Again, we click M and we just get the general shape. I'd say it's probably around this big. Um, when you do that again we move to the shape to the uh, selection tool with V and then we can rotate it and that looks somewhat like I'm gonna reshape it just a little bit not as long and get more or less the right place right now this looks kind of cool um I will also round these and again you can do the degrees I kind of like for him to have a completely like rounded corners to me it just looks a little bit nicer um and now we're going to do uh his his limbs and you'll you'll see why I'm I'm doing this in a specific order Really, there's no reason, but what we're doing here is we're going to just create like a little point by clicking the pen tool. The pen tool, you uh, activate or you click right here, or you can just click the P. Now we can click two points, and on the second point, you keep holding down the button, and when you drag it, it lets you... Uh, choose like the angle right and then to in illustrator you just have to you don't have to keep drawing what you can do is just click escape the escape key and it finishes that shape right 
And this looks kind of weird because what it's trying to do is build a shape as opposed to build an outline. So on this on the side right here, you have one setting for fill, which is X, and the other one is stroke, right? So when we click on it, it tells you, do you want it to be a uh, none? Do you want it to have a gradient or do you want it to have a color? And we want it to have the color. So when we click it, there should be now a stroke and the fill, which is the shape. We don't want it to have anything. Now you might not see anything, but when you zoom in, there is a stroke now. So like if we go back to the fill, you see how the stroke is there. You see how it gets removed and then uh, added again. So we go into the side right here. You see that there's colors and strokes and stuff like that. I actually want to remove this one. Oops, not that. Close tab group. And right here where it says weight, it really just means the stroke. So I wanted to get decently fat. Somewhere around there. Right? And a good way to to keep the same style is you click on it, you hold down alt, and then you drag it and it creates a new copy. So now when we go into the pen tool and holding down the control, you can click on one of them, one of the anchor points, move it where you want it to be, and then you click on the other one. And then you could get these uh these anchors, what they're called, and then you could shape it to the way you want it to look like. See? So now we get this one. Holding down Alt. Make a new copy. We can rotate it. Right. And this one, we want it to be a little bit higher so it looks a little symmetrical. I want it to have a little bit of variance. This is just something uh, that you don't have to do, but it's good to kind of practice. It's just have a little bit more variance in your designs. So it's somewhat symmetrical, but not all the way symmetrical. If anything, I could also move it this way. Right. And you're seeing that sometimes I'm clicking on the. Uh, that I'm, I'm clicking on the on the uh, back image, it tends to happen. But if that ever happens, then just click on the thing that you actually want to work on. And again, we're going to be clicking it and shaping it so it looks OK. Right. So there we go. There's a little robot and I'm going to actually add the um, going to be fusing two of the of the robots together. So when you saw this. Not this one. Give me one second. We saw this one. I like that it has little floating uh, symbols and that's good for practicing. So let's say that we click on the pen tool because there's two ways to do it. We can make a rectangle, right? Somewhere around there, maybe about the size of the, uh, the same size as the robot, right? Maybe a, a little bit shorter then when we go inside we can click on these drag and create uh, the rounded kind of like how we did with the head or we can remove this we can go to the pen tool click here hold down shift to make these perfect straight selections or, or straight paths click on it Remember escape to let go of the to let go of the shape building like uh, format. Then we go back into this, and then we increase the weight. Now you might also be wondering, well, it doesn't have the like nice little curvy things right here. 
right ne right below weight there's these things called caps and this is what do you apply right here at the end of each stroke do you want it to end exactly where you clicked on it do you want it to create a box around where you clicked on it or do you want it to create a circle so there we go this is also a good tool so let's say that you want to do a path um that like let's say this heartbeat path if we if we wanted to do something like this right this is how it looks and we want this to also again have a weight of like let's say 50. now we can create these these kind of groups and then click on this cap it adds these little circles and then these why they might be so intense is because these aren't the caps these are called corners and the way that we do this is below where it says cap there's corners and when you click on it it rounds them off so these are caps this is like an uncapped uh, stroke or path with rounded corners this is a rounded caps with rounded corners and then um, rounded caps with I believe they're called the miter joint or j I, I just call them like sharp corners would they also have the ones that have like a instead of being cut it's kind of like a blend where they just give you like angles um, so just giving you a quick tool right now but uh, yeah we click on this one we hold and then we just move it slightly lower and then by, by holding alt we scale it then we do we'll do one more and then we'll scale this one see now now this one doesn't look as good as it wanted to we'll just keep going and that looks a little bit better right now we could get three i'm personally not liking this one and these two kind of already give off the illusion of him floating we just have to make this a little bit further and there we go so let's uh let's take this guy off this is what our little robot looks so far looks like so far right we would also at least for me i would want to cap these off so they're little circles but i'm thinking what if you want to make something like his claws right there are two ways to do it really um one way is to start with the ellipse tool so l or it's just another shape builder tool this one helps you create circles or circular objects so we can make ovals but by holding down shift it gives you the perfect proportions for a circle and by holding alt wherever you clicked on becomes the center point so that's something that uh that we can uh take into account so let's say that i want something like this oops not that and then we fill it in this looks kind of cool right and then we're missing like the little um how, what would you call this like the little wrenchy looking arm so we can hold down the alt move it and now there's two of them and there's a reason why i did this right what we're going to be using now is called a shape builder tool we're going to be dragging over the selections that you want to build a shape right because with the shape builder tool is if you can see how i selected them it shows three areas that are highlighted really it's just highlighting this area then it's highlighting this one but when we click shift m it partitions them these shapes into um all of the like subsets that you can see so it creates this one it creates where it intersects and then it creates this last one we can combine stuff by clicking on one of the areas and dragging it to the to the other one something like this right and so now when we move this my bad now when we move this 
you can see that it, it remained the circle but it erased this one now let's say that we're back on this right the other thing you could do is by holding down alt it removes areas so we can erase this one backspace we could erase this one and then we could erase the middle one so if we ever wanted something that has a shape we can do that right pretty simple what we're gonna want to do and the way that I like to do it is uh, doing the shape builder tool I just erase these two you can also erase multiple and the end this shape builder tool can drag everything right you can draw as whatever areas together and it'll form them or conversely delete them now that we have this little wrenchy part if we go into the selection tool remember they give you all these little points we can click on these two and drag them and now it's little grippers right and these might be looking a little too thick so one of the things that we can do is move this anchor point again clicking on it dragging it somewhere around maybe maybe here right and then the next one we just copy it we can rotate or and by holding shift it, it rotates in um in degrees of 45 or we can right click transform um and then there's going to be one called reflect and oops transform reflect horizontal and it could flip it upside down this this kind of helps for other um for things that are a little bit more complicated but i just want to show you for now what it can do I'm gonna move this a little bit higher, a little bit lower, and there's the little grip. Last thing is we're gonna make his eyes. Again, click L for the uh, circle tool, or we could go here. You can also long click this circle tool, and it and it opens up what other things. Maybe we want star eyes. Maybe we not we want uh octagon eyes or whatever. But for me, I kind of like the circular look. We're going to be holding Shift. And then looking for like a proper size eyeball, maybe like around here. And this is fine. Then we copy it. Right? We could do it like that. Or the other thing that we can do, right? Because that seems a little bit off. We can cut this off. Let me make this into a circle just, just to make it look nice. Uh, we could do it first off to the side, right? We create this little rectangle head and make it slightly like this. Yep. Then we get the circle tool. So I kind of like the eye shape to be around there. Go to this one and we create a double. Now, I'm going to put these outside of the circle for one reason right now. We can drag both of them together. Uh, we could make a selection of both of them. Go into our properties panel. And right here in the bottom, I don't think you can see it. So let me move my webcam a little bit higher. Right here at the bottom, it gives you an align. And when we click align uh, centers... It, it gets their anchor points, it gets their anchor points and, and lines them up perfectly. What we want is to get their centers uh, horizontally. What we want is to get their anchor points, but now we're gonna be using their Y axis and centering them this way. So that way they're perfectly straight. So let's say that one was up here. When we make a selection of both and we click on this button, see it aligns them. Then now that we're here, we can uh, right click and then there's going to be an option called group and the reason we use group right now is because if we click on one we're clicking on the whole group so that way we can move both of them without us losing the alignment also we can now 
make a selection of all these three where it's taking the this selection this group and then this rectangle and we could align them right so now they're perfectly uh in the same place we can get this one first and do something like this see these eyes now look slightly too big so we're going to be holding shift and alt making them a little bit smaller okay and then we're going to drag them. We're going to make a selection of all three. And then again, shape builder tool. Deselect them. Drag this over here. And there we go. The other thing that we can do is before we finish those selections, we can let's bring this up here or down here we can ungroup them right click on group there's going to be an option we can also do something like this to make a more of a happier robot right this we can also duplicate and these are just little design things that, you know, if you want to do, you can do, you don't have to. We group it again and we'll see how this looks right now. We're going to be doing the shape builder tool and erasing these. See, now he's happier. That just adds a little friendliness into the robot. And there we go. Now, this is already a robot. If you want to add this little thing, uh, you can. So what we're going to be doing is maybe um, maybe a few buttons and um, like a switch or something, right? All over just because I didn't really like my workflow there. I'm going to start again. Make the little heart. Make one side rounded, copy it. One we are going to rotate. The other one we're gonna only rotate once. Then we select both and then we align them. Oops, just align them like this. And this might look a little weird. So we're gonna move this one a little bit. It was one pixel off. But there's your heart, right? We can group it together. We can scale it to the right place. Somewhere around here. We can make the selection. Use the shape builder tool. Bam, right? Kind of like that the bad thing about the shape builder tool is you can't as this is now a path so you can't you can't directly fix it the way you would want to so you have to be very particular on on where you want it to be um or else you'd pretty much have to remake this all over again but that's kind of the style that we've been going with uh so be somewhat um confident in where you want things to be before you do the shape builder the reason why i'm not just doing a white is because this is transparent so whatever color goes behind it the the heart will also be that color whereas if i make it white then it becomes a lot harder right uh and that's kind of why we're doing the shape builder tool so these could be negatives so like the eyes also are negatives right Oh, this looks kind of creepy. But, uh, yeah, that's what we're kind of doing that. Um, and there is our robot. Now, the last step is to make this border perfectly aligned with this. Now, by clicking shift and M, no shift and O, I'm sorry. We open up the artboard tool and what this artboard tool does is we can now shape the canvas, right? This is probably the best way you can just drag it. But you see sometimes 
if there's like a stroke or something especially like with uh strokes you end up with something like this so what we actually want to do is click shift oop not shift p take this off we want to do a shift o click enter and an artboard option is going to pop up and we're going to go to uh presets fit to fit to artwork bounds and it'll do it perfectly then we just click save as and this one we're just going to call a robot put it in the right directory and this should be done this is our little robot that we can use and in the next video we will be learning how to create how to get this asset into after effects so we can edit it draw it move it around do whatever you want with it and that we will do next time but for now this is it and i'll see you later